Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome, newbies in between them. Oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love, healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed. And I am deeply appreciative. And I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy and I am also raising two beautiful boys. But know that every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael, from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. So we're going to get right into the reading and see what is going on, okay? A reminder to please only take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are timeless, so whenever you peer into my readings, they will resonate accordingly, okay? Thank you for coming to my channel and entrusting in me, my gifts, my knowledge, my wisdom, okay? To help you along your sacred journeys. I appreciate each and every one of you during and even after each reading, I'm sending you so much love, healing, and protection. Okay? And thank you for, like I said, entrusting in me to help you. Because that's what I'm here to do. Okay? I love doing this. I love connecting with you guys. I love your guys' comments. Okay? I appreciate you. Definitely. Um, we're going to get right into it. Going forth. The readings are going to be shorter, okay? I have other things that I need to do in the background, so they have to be shorter. I will be posting on my other channel as well, Kyra Love Messages. So if you have not subscribed or checked that channel out, it's good vibes only, okay? So please go check that out, support your girl, okay? Sorry, just turning my phone on, so. Just in any case, any calls. But, um, yeah, we want to get right into it. Thank you for the um, comments, the likes, the shares, the donations. Thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you, okay? Um, I just try to make sure I'm saying everything. <laughs> um, I call upon God, the angels that are assigned to us, our spirit team, ancestors, past on loved ones, and high-ranking Deities and Orishas that God allows to love us, guide us, and protect us. We ask of you to continue to protect us from any negative energy, negative projections, false narratives, false, harsh, gluttony, gossip, or slander, any evil eye, black magic, witchcraft, unclean spirits, demons, or jinns, or lower deities that are being sent to us in any way fashion or form okay we ask you to release them from our energetic field our homes our existence and send it back to where it has come or send it back to sender if someone is sending it to us 
Lord, it be amen. We appreciate you every day, all day. And uh, please block any interferences during this reading. Let's get to it, y'all. Okay. So I will be cutting myself off if it's just too long. Because I know I can be long-winded because I like to get more information and make sure you guys understand the message and definitely giving you guys some advice. So I'm just going to keep it shorter, okay? All right. Spirit, what's going on? So we have someone impersonating you. I'm hearing, you know, what else is new? <laughs> That's exactly what I heard. What else is new? You have someone impersonating you. Wanting to be you, acting like you, dressing like you, look like you, copies you, and wanting to be with you. So you have someone that wants to be you and to want to be with you is what I'm being told. Okay. I know y'all hear that. Those sirens. That's your spirit team. Um warning you against this person the, your spirit team has saved you from this person so this is someone that you rejected or someone that could have rejected you but this is someone that you did not engage with long term is what i'm being told and it's because this person not only wants to be you but they want to be with you so that they can really be you so this is the opposite sex. Now, if you're into the same sex, it could be the same sex. So if you're a man, this is a woman. If you're a woman, this is a man. If you're into the same sex, it's a man or a woman. If you are a man or a woman. But you have someone that wants to come towards you to act as if they're into you only to become you. That's crazy as hell. Yeah. And they're willing to fake smile and do whatever it takes. Oh, child. So you have this person coming towards you. For some of you, you're around this person. But they haven't made themselves known as far as wanting to be with you. Okay? For some of you, and this for some, but I'm not really getting um, this message as bold as the other. Um, you could be with someone that is copying you. And that's the sole reason why this person is with you to copy you. Pretty much. All right, but that's for a few of you, very few of you. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this person is in a lot of debt. This person is filing for bankruptcy. Um, this person is struggling financially. They are. They look at you and they feel as though you're not struggling financially. So this person wants to get closer to you so that they can mimic what you're doing in regards to keeping your life in balance. I really am strongly feeling like this is someone that is not around you or someone that has not made themselves known to the fact that they're into you. I'm gonna be honest. Now for some of you, this could be someone that you're getting to know. And little do you know, the reason why they want to get to know you is because you're on the up and up. Your finances are stable, you're balanced, and this person wants to mimic everything that you're doing so that their life can be balanced so that they can get financial stability, so that they can grow. Mm. Yeah, because you're a queen. You're an empress. This is you. Yeah. All right, so the main message here is that someone that is into you, whether you are dealing with this person or this person wants to come towards you, they want to deal with you because they want to be like you. And they want to be like you because you're not struggling mentally, financially, physically, spiritually. 
Now, y'all got to put yourselves where y'all belong. Some of y'all are dealing with this person. Others of y'all, this is someone that wants to come towards you. They are struggling financially. Normally, the first set of cards is the main message. The other cards are just clarification. So the main message here is that whether you're with this person or this person wants to come towards you, they're only into you to be like you. I mean, to be like you. Yep. Let's get one more. Yeah, they're obsessed with you. <laughs> this is someone that's obsessed and it's very toxic. Very, very toxic. Um, dangerously toxic, unhealthy, possessive, karmic. You could be seeing 11, okay? And that represents basically a new beginning away from this person if you are with this person. Um, you could also be seeing 11 giving you a heads up that this person is coming towards you. You got this type of person that's into you. This person is so obsessed with you, they may even convince themselves that you're their person. But this person is very unhealthy, very possessive, very toxic. I mean, clearly you can see this. I'm hearing they would wear your skin if they could. The question I have is, is this person in the collective's life? That's what I want to know. Is this person in the collective's life? Or is this someone that is observing the collective? Spirit, give me an answer to that one. Who is this? No. This is someone that is stuck in life. This is someone that refuses to change and this is someone that is limited in their growth because they refuse to change. I really feel like this is someone that did waste your time because we have wasted time. For some of you, for others of you, this is someone that wants to come in to waste your time. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing three different messages. I'm going to keep it, you know, a being always. This is for some of you, if you're dealing with this person, this is someone that's wasting your time. For others of you, this is someone that wasted your time. And for others of you, this is someone that wants to come in to waste your time. Because the truth is, they only want to be with you to be you. And so you can help them with their finances. This person going nowhere absolutely nowhere so i mean you have to differentiate whether this is someone this is love whether this is someone that you're in a commitment with this is someone that you broke up with or this is someone that is watching you and they want to take a risk towards you we only get a little bit more don't worry but this person is haunted memories flashback trauma side effects this is definitely someone from the past or someone you broke up with someone you're not dealing with that's the heaviest message i'm getting i'm really not getting this is someone that you're currently dealing with i'm not really getting that but for some of you spirit is saying it is so that's why it's important to put yourself where you belong i'm being honest let's get a little bit more on who this person is and what's going on here i mean they want to be you I'm hearing they've always wanted to be you. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. We're doing good on timing here. So let's clarify. Clarify impersonate her. Don't mind my nails, y'all. I need to get them done. Impersonator. Okay, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, this is someone that absolutely pretends. This person could be around you, but... For some of you, this person is not around you. They're a pretender. They are not showing. I completely got interrupted because I forgot to lock the door. Okay. 
Um, the card that came out, like I said, was Mass Fish, Disguise, Not Showing, um, False Identity. This person is pretending. And this is someone that feels entitled to your energy. So if you are around this person, they're pretending really good to like be into you, to love you for you, to be positive and healing, but they're not. Um, this person is going to pretend when they come towards you. Okay? Or you've caught on that this person is only with you to be like you. I mean, everything you say, everything you do, they mimic. Yeah? They're not with you because they love you. They care for you. No. It's because they want to be you. They want to act like you, dress like you, look like you, copy you. They want to be you. And this person is disguising themselves really good. So this is going to be someone coming towards you that may even come off as disinterested in a sense in you. But they're faking it. <laughs> they're faking it. Clarify um, into you. This person may even want to just have sex. Because they want to harvest your energy. Your magical energy. They want to steal your energy. So this is somebody that is going to pretend. And once you let them close enough. Even possibly if you was to allow them to have sex with you. They would steal your energy to help their finances. Be careful of this person. Into you. Yeah, this is someone that is willing to travel towards you. This is someone that could have traveled towards you. This is someone, that's what I'm saying. Some of y'all, this is someone that you're into. They're into you. But be careful because this person is a fake. They're only into just being around you to be like you, to mimic you. Not because they love you. Like, again, this is someone that's willing to travel towards you. This is someone that could live in a different city. This is someone that could have traveled already towards you. But I really feel like this person just wants to travel towards you, have sex with you, so that they can steal your essence. That's what I'm getting. Like, they can steal your whole fucking vibe. Like... Because this person don't have a vibe. This person is a lost soul. This person lackluster. This person's corny. They're boring. That's what I'm hearing. Clarify bankrupt. Yeah. But you love yourself. You love yourself. If this person stole your energy in the past, ain't no way in hell they gonna come through and do this again, you're too protected this go around, and you've learned your lesson so if this is someone from the past that is going to act as if they're into you but the truth is they're wearing a mask and they want to travel towards you or they want to send for you to travel towards them you're not going to fall for the bait you know that this person is struggling, you know that this person wants to be like you, they talk like you you already are hip to this person's game and you're going to love yourself. This person sees that you do love yourself. This person sees that you are transforming beautifully. They're obsessed. Yeah. They're obsessed. For some of you, this could have been a fling. This could have been um, someone you friend zoned. They friend zoned you. This could have been a um, one night stand, a situationship. And this person has always wanted to be you. And the only reason why they were into you is to be you. Like, that's what I'm hearing. And now that everything is falling apart because they can't, like, suck off of your energy. That's what I'm being told. Because you love yourself. Let's clarify, um, obsessive lover. So for some of y'all, this is definitely somebody uh, um, from your past that you don't deal with. I, that's the heaviest message I'm getting. I really don't feel like 
if you're dealing with someone that is giving you love, giving you attention, sacrificing for you, nobody's perfect, right? Um, someone that is, you know, giving you quality time, helping you out there through your ups and downs. No, 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 no. I'm not talking, that's not the person I'm talking about. This is somebody that's selfish. This is somebody, I'm trying to tell you, that could have been in and out of your life. You could have friend zoned them. They could have friend zoned you. This could have been a fling, a situationship, okay? Not serious at all. Like this person would come in and pretend to want to be with you. But once they got what they wanted, they out. But I'm hearing that's not going to happen this go around. They thought that they were going to be right back. That's not going to happen. Void, long distance, time apart. This person could be at a distance. We see that with City. But you're avoiding this person out of your life. I feel like this person thought that, you know, time would make you, I don't know, come back to them or would allow them to come back. Yeah, but they're just a waste of time. Whoever this person is, they're a waste of time. This is someone, 1111. This is someone you could have thought was your person. This is someone you could have thought was a, a high-level soulmate, a twin flame. This is someone you could have had a um, crush on. Someone that you could have, I'm trying to tell you, you're really getting a situationship, friend zoned, friends with benefits, an uh, in and out type of energy. And they were only in to, to take from you and then they left just as quick. Yeah, because they thought that they were going to be right back. Mm -mm. Spirit was like, uh-uh. Hell no. Let me move this over. And this person is going to come back and try this. But you love yourself. So they just want to deal with their um, shortcomings. Is what I'm being told. Okay. Wasting time. Yep. Because you know the tea. You know that this person wants to be you. You know who this is. So this is someone you do know. I don't think this is someone that's into you. Like, meaning like someone you're in a relationship with, someone you're married to. No, 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 no. This is someone that's into you. I don't think you're into them because you already know who they are, right? The T, it says exposure, tough love, right? Receipts, yeah. You know what? This person is a waste of fucking time. And I think this person is so delusional and far up their own ass that... They think that you can't see them, but you can. Yeah, like they're going to come and try to give you flowers and try to make you feel special. <laughs> All the while, they just want to take. They want to mimic. They want to study you up close and personal. And the only way to do that is to be in a relationship with you. Act as if they are in love with you. Yep. Don't let this person in. If this was a friend, a situationship, a friends with benefits, a one night stand that never got off the ground, don't let this person in as far as the commitment. If this is someone you let go of, you rejected, they rejected you, don't let this person back in. It doesn't matter which which message resonates, man. Let's clarify um travel, city. This person's haunted. Mm -hmm. Whatever they did to you. They're getting karma for. That's why they haunted. Yeah, this is somebody of the past. I can't make this shit up. This is somebody that's old news. You don't even talk to. You don't, for some of you, you don't even think of this person. And when you do, you probably question yourself like, why are you even thinking about this person? Yeah. This past person is obsessed with you. Obsessed with being you. This person got mad because you caught on to them. You saw them as toxic, as a waste of time. And this person only was into you. I can't I can't keep reiterating just to be you. This person probably does this to a lot of people. This person is going to DM you because they don't think that you know. <laughs> like, of course the joke is on them, but you do know. You know now, because I'm telling you. Clarify mass fish in disguise. I mean, yeah. They're going to put on a good front. Yeah, they're going to put on a good front. They're going to try to come to some type of mutual agreement. They're going to try to ease your doubts. 
Okay, because you know this person's a waste of time. You know this person's a player. You know this person's obsessive. They're toxic. They're unhealthy. They have bad habits. They're karmic. But this person's going to try to convince you otherwise. I wouldn't even. Okay, yeah. They're going to contrive to... I can't even talk. They're going to try to convince you otherwise with power couple. Um, bankrupt and body yada yada. Yeah, this person's a fraud. So spirit is telling you to love yourself. You know, you know the truth. That's why this person is going through financial ruin. They're a fraud. They're overhyped. They're a scammer and they're deceitful. You know this. We're gonna get some signs. Don't worry. Obsessive lover and be right back. Mm-hmm. This is someone that wanted you to make them your priority and they wanted to pretend that you were their priority. Yeah? But you wind up moving. This person doesn't know where you are. This person's lost your location is what I'm being told. This person wanted to feel very important in your life. <laughs> There's a lot of messages that came after that message. It is very negative, very negative. Like the audacity is what I'll sum it up as. Um, this person was very toxic. They thought that they could just come back in and out, do what they wanted, didn't appreciate you. I mean, a lot of messages flooded in when this person basically has the audacity to want you to make them a priority. But a lot of you guys are into someone else that is making you a priority. You're making them a priority. And the person that you're dealing with, if you're dealing with anyone, they're not out to get you at all. They're, they're not out just to smash and dash. Like, fuck no. Wasting time and the tea. Yeah, exactly. Because this person is just going to waste your time, get what they want, ghost you. Okay? Don't, don't even do it. It's a waste of time. Keep this person cut off. Okay? If you're entertaining this person... Because maybe you think that it's going to be something more. No, they're karmic. They're very toxic. They're a waste of your time. Their finances are dwindling. Whether they put on a front to make it seem like they are, you know, the shit. They're fake flexing. They're only into you because you're doing good or you can help them out in whatever way. And they want to be you. They're not truly wearing, you know, who they are at the forefront. They're putting on a mask, so you really don't know this person at all. This person sent for you, or they they came to your city, okay? And uh, it's time for you to love yourself. Do not let this person back in. You already know. You already know. Whether, like I said, let me run down again. Th whether this is a fling, because I keep seeing it at the bottom of the deck. A fling, a hookup, um, someone you rejected, a friends with benefits, a situationship or actual person that you were in a relationship with. Yeah, if you need to let go, it's time to let go. If you have already let go, this is your confirmation. For others of you, you have this person from the past that is still watching you, wanting to come back and uh, take from you because they're going through massive karma. They're being haunted right now. Yeah, the fake flexing right after. I can't make this shit up. This is a fucking fake ass flexor. They're not they're not really getting it how they live. They want you to think that. They have a lot of other people thinking that, is what I'm being told. But yeah, they want to come in, try to wine and dine you. I'm trying to tell you, try to pull all the stops just to hook you so that they can take from you. I'm gonna be honest. That's that's what it is. Alright, let's get some zodiac signs of who this person could be. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy air. That's what I heard when this came out. I ain't gonna lie to you. I heard heavy air sign. So heavy Aquarius, heavy Libra, heavy Gemini energy. Okay. You have Capricorn. Capricorn. 
Aquarius. Didn't I say that? <laughs> Heavy air energy. And Capricorn. Capricorn and Aquarius is. <laughs> Ooh, child. Mm. Pisces energy. Bottom of the deck, Leo. Leos, Aquariuses, and Capricorns. Ooh, child. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But so this person's sign is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, or Pisces energy, okay? These energies are haunted because they're overhyped. They are. I mean, people overhype them. People stroke their ego when they shouldn't, when they should be telling this person the truth, but they're not, okay, is what I'm being told. Yeah, this person is pressed. They're going to come towards you. They're pressed, okay? And what you can do is press the block button. <laughs> press the block button, okay? That's what you can do because who got time? Not you, boo-boo. Not you, okay? Let me get some advice for you, and then I'm going to leave it right there. But this is the message. You got this person from the past that wants to be you, have always wanted to be you. They try to come back and recharge their their financial uh, energetic bank with your energy. But this time, they want, you know, to be in a relationship with you because they don't want you to go nowhere. Okay? Uh, in and out ain't good enough. They're trying to make you their priority so they can suck off of you for life. You better not. Claire, um, give me some clear advice for the collective. Some of y'all are already dealing with this person. This, this is the person you are talking to for some, if it applies. Let that person go. Mm -mm. Yeah, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself, okay? If this person is trying to come back in or if you're dealing with this person, okay? Um, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Exactly. You ain't going to expect the truth from this person. Whether you're dealing with this person or this person, you know, is coming back. You, you, you cannot expect the truth. So the best thing you can do is be honest with yourself, okay, and realize this person is no good for your health. Be honest with yourself and realize that this person is not good for your health. Mental, spiritual, physical, nothing, okay? This person is not going to change. I split it and we... Uh, and we, and I saw, okay, me and my spirit team, we saw loneliness. This person is going to be alone because they refuse to change, okay? Yep. So it says, I will honor the physical vessel that entrenches my soul. Do not have sex with this person. Do not allow this person to get into your energy, okay? When I read that, that's exactly what I heard, all right? Don't let this person get into your energy, your sexual energy, or your mental energy. Don't. Because this person's trying to come back, though. Mm -mm. Yeah. Because they're lonely. <laughs> I'm here lonely. I miss the lonely. I have nobody to call my own. That's what I'm hearing. Uh-uh. But they not going to come and suck off for you. Mm-mm. If you are single, next okay uh maybe you're dealing with this person dating this person you know chose to maybe spin the block mm -mm. it's better to be alone than to be with this person be honest with yourself because they're gonna fuck up your mental health your sexual health if you feel what i'm talking about don't let this person back in if you're already dealing with this person it's time to go okay you are never alone all right i know that i am never alone being alone is better than being with this person. If you have taken this person back, this is definitely someone from your past. You could have reconciled with this person. It's time to unreconcile. <laughs> this person wants to come in and talk to you, reconcile with you. Whatever relation. Whatever. It's a no. Yeah, do not be in denial. Please don't be in denial. Remember, this person is pressed, they're desperate. Okay, they're obsessive. They're, they will chase you. And what you're going to do is press, boop, the block button. Because this person feels entitled to your energy. Absolutely. And this person is going to basically th throw a curveball into your, like, your, your life. Because this person is out to 
seek revenge because they want to be you. So you're going to get a lot of failures and setbacks and losses if you keep this person in your life, if they're in your life, if you bring this person in your life. Don't be in denial, right? I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. You know, you know that this person is a waste of time. I don't give a shit how good they look, how much money they pretend to have. No, man. It's an absolute no. Okay? If God has given you somebody else that absolutely loves you, is there for you, is into you, there we go. I'm hearing keep an open mind. Okay? Keep an open mind when it comes to your high-level soulmate twin flame. But this person coming towards you, that, that, hell no. Hell no. Mm-mm. Yeah, this person's mad as shit at you because they mind games is not working on you. You're different. Like, they fake and you're not. And, it, yeah, you're like, I'm cool. You took, you definitely don't deal with this person. And they are mad. They're pissed that they could not hook you. They could not, you know, have an unfair advantage over you because of their mind games. Because you're completely above them. The fuck doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. Spiritually, energetically, frequency, energy-wise, you're above them. So you're going to see them for who they are. You know they ain't got shit. Anyway, I'm going to keep it right there, babies. Until next time, you know I love you to life. Watch out for this person. I, I heard watch out for this scumbag. Ooh, child. Until next time, babies, you know I love you to life. I'm going to leave it there. All right? Bye.